Get ready to be taken on a journey through one of the most diversifying landscapes in Southeast Asia. Welcome to Vietnam. Having spent two years living here in Vietnam, I've seen and done a lot of things. Following up on my second year living here, I figured it was time to create another top 10 places to visit in Vietnam, the 2.0 version. So strap on your seatbelts, get yourself ready for what will be your next travel adventure. Let's go to Vietnam. So coming in at number 10 is Phu Quoc Island. This island is located on the southern point of Vietnam and is known for its beautiful beaches, fresh seafood, and its island tours. Now something that you do not want to miss is booking your own private boat to Fingernail Island and May Ru Island where you get to spend the day on the ocean, island hopping, snorkeling, and eating fresh seafood. It's a great way to spend the day and in order for you to do this, you have to head down to Bai Tam South Beach where you'll find a place called the Beach House. If you go up to the reception and you ask them to book you a private tour, someone will be there within the hour to scoop you up and it only costed us about $100 US. Now something that is a must do in Phu Quoc Island is renting a motorbike and exploring the island on your own terms. Now the island is not the smallest island so I recommend you guys start early and on your journey, be sure to stop at Rory's Beach Bar. It's located on the opposite side of the island so you'll definitely run into it in here. You get to enjoy some delicious Western food and you get to beat your friends in a game of mini golf and pool. Now along your journey, there will be some beautiful beaches for you to stop at. My top two favorite beaches in Phu Quoc Island is Starfish Beach and Sunset Santo Beach Club. Starfish Beach is all in the name guys. If you go here, you'll see an abundant amount of starfishes just hanging around on the beach. You can take a dip here before you head over to Sunset Santo Beach Club to enjoy the sunset. Now the entrance fee is a little bit pricey, but you get to enjoy some really cool music, there's food and there's drinks, and you'll be greeted with a beautiful sunset. Also, if you're into taking Instagram pictures, this is a spot. So many people go here to take pictures with these statues that they put along the beach. But yeah, these are the two top beaches that you must check out. Coming in at number nine, guys, is an island called Nam Yu, and it's very, very close to Phu Quoc. So in order to go from Phu Quoc to Nam you all you have to do is book a super dong fast ferry uh, I heard they checking for me no one checking. and from there you'll head from Phu Quoc to Rakia Harbor where then you can buy another boat ticket to take you out to Nam Yu so now Nam Yu is super underdeveloped but the reason why it made my top nine was because the little amount of tourists that you will see on the island we essentially got to travel the island without seeing too many tourists on it and it was just an excellent way to kick back and relax without feeling like you are on an island that is super booming with tourists. Now on this island, you guys will find a series of things, beautiful coastlines, beautiful beaches, and great seafood. And something that you do not want to miss is have your accommodation arrange a boat tour for you guys where you head out to several different inlets. And on one of these inlets, I've seen the most beautiful beach I've seen in Vietnam, where the tide was probably like 50 meters in, low tide, and really blue water. So if you guys wanna hang out on the beach without having to take a boat tour, I really recommend you guys check out Bai Cayman Beach. Now this beach is the most beautiful beach on this island and you'll be met with really blue water, white sand beaches, and overhanging palm trees. They also serve drinks and food here, so if you want to just get some food, get some drinks, kick back, and enjoy your day on the beach, this is the place to do it. Alright guys, so number 8 on the list is Halong Bay. Now I'm sure you guys have seen tons of pictures on Instagram, like this, this, this and this. This place is absolutely beautiful and if you guys come here, one thing that you must do is to book a boat tour and you guys can do this again through your accommodation or any travel agent within the city. Um, on the boat, you'll head out to see some limestone peaks, you'll be able to explore some caves as well as going kayaking with a group of people. So another option for you guys is to book a liveaboard. Now there's many different companies in Halong Bay that do liveaboards and you'll generally spend two days one night on a boat and you get to explore some beautiful, beautiful different beaches, limestone mountains, caves. You'll get to go kayaking, swimming, and snorkeling. You'll be able to enjoy some early morning Tai Chi if you're into that or yoga. And they also serve food on these boats. But do your research as there are many companies out there that do a great job at hosting people and taking people out on these tours. Now something that is an absolutely must not miss when you're in Halong Bay is to sneak up to this viewpoint called Bai To Mountain otherwise known as Palm Mountain. Now there are different ways you guys can get here so I recommend you guys just search up a blog 
how to get to Bai To Mountain, and you'll find many different blogs talking about where the entrance is, how to get there. Because the area is actually closed off to the public, I actually had to pay someone and bribe them to get in. But there's many blogs on Google that will explain exactly where this location is and how you guys can get there, but it's something that you must not miss. Now, I really recommend you guys go up for sunrise as it was absolutely beautiful up there. We got the whole view to ourselves and we got to enjoy a beautiful sunrise early in the morning. Now moving on to number 7 is Mu Ne, a coastal region located in the southern part of Vietnam. So Mu Ne is known for its prominent coastal resorts, beaches, and sand dunes. And it has a budget that can fit all types of travelers. So if you're looking for a place that is a little bit cheaper, that option is available. Or if you're looking to ball out at a resort, that option is also available. So Mu Ne has tons of access to beaches. Some are even private beaches where you won't find anyone on. So be sure to plan a day out on the beach and just hang out, enjoy the sun, and take a dip in the ocean. So Mune has a range of activities for you guys to do so be sure to stop by Mune Surf Club, hit them up, rent some surfboards or even a lesson and just spend the day out on the water surfing as it was one of the most fun activities that I did there. Moving on to number six guys is one of my favorite places in Vietnam, Phong Nha. So this place is located in northern Vietnam and is characterized by mountains, tropical jungles, underground rivers and a network of caves. Now I've only been here once so I've only just scratched the surface of this beautiful region but I'm here to tell you guys about my trip and what you guys can do that was similar to mine and that was loads of fun. So be sure to hop over to Jungle Boss's website as they are a tour company that can take you on several different hikes throughout Phong Nha. Be sure to check out the Elephant Cave and the Mada Valley hike. That's the hike that I did and it was a full day tour through the lost jungles of Phong Nha. Now some of the things that we got to do is we got to swim in this super cool cave that had a river running through it. So we were in the pitch black, swimming through this river and it was super, super cool. And along with that, they also took us to this emerald blue swimming hole where we got to swim around, we got the cliff jump and we also had dinner there and lastly they finished off the hike taking you to elephant cave this cave is super big and I've actually never seen any cave like this and they have remnants of the old Vietnam War there left behind so that was pretty cool to see as well and if you're looking for a great place to stay be sure to book your accommodation with restful river bungalow here this place is absolutely amazing when you walk outside your bungalow you're greeted with this beautiful beautiful river that is super clean and you can swim in and you're also taking in the scenic views from across the river with these massive rolling hills that are just poking out up into the sky. It's absolutely amazing and I recommend you guys stay there for sure. So be sure to just Google what else you guys can do in Phong Nha as I know there's tons of different activities for you guys to do. Plenty of K's, plenty of different excursions for you guys to partake in. So number five on the list guys is a beautiful island called Cat Ba. Now this island is located in northern Vietnam and it is highlighted by its rugged limestone features just like Ha Long Bay. Now this island is littered with caves. I've never been somewhere with so many different caves. So be sure to Google all the caves that you guys can check out as there's so many on this island for you guys to explore. And now if you're looking for a great place to kick back, relax, and just hang out with your friends and family or anyone that you've met along your journey, be sure to head over to Cat Co Beach Boardwalk. So this boardwalk will take you guys to three different beaches. Now if one beach is too busy, just leave and hop over onto the next beach along the boardwalk. So you guys gotta check out this place. There's tons of activities for kids here, food, drinks, and just a great place to hang out and relax for the day. And if you're looking for something more strenuous, be sure to check out Cat Bad National Park. Here you guys will hike through Cat Bad's dense jungle until you guys reach a viewpoint. And at this viewpoint, you guys will see massive hills poking out into the sky and you guys will get a glimpse of what the island looks like from above. And lastly guys, be sure not to miss a sunset in Cat Bad. The sunsets here are absolutely amazing. Head over to a beach, grab a few drinks, grab some snacks and food and just hang out and take in the sunset. Moving on to number four guys is Da Nang. Now Da Nang is a coastal city located in central Vietnam and it is quite developed versus many other beach cities located here in Vietnam. So one place that left me in awe when I went to Da Nang was the Hai Van Pass. The Hai Van Pass is just a mountainous windy road that takes you up into this valley. So if you go here, be sure to rent your own motorbike as it is the best way to see the Hai Van Pass and you'll be greeted with these stunning views of Da Nang. And if you're not comfortable riding your own motorbike, be sure 
sure to check out Da Nang Easy Rider Tours as it is a company that allows you to see the high-vent pass without driving your own motorbike. Someone will pick you up, you hop onto the back and they'll take you to many different tourist attractions along this high-vent pass. So be sure you guys do this as again guys, it is a must do. Another cool thing for you guys to do is head over to Marble Mountain. Marble Mountain is a cluster of limestone peaks with amazing viewpoints and different caves for you guys to explore. So once you're done here, be sure to head over to Suntra Mountain. And now Suntra Mountain is an actual loop so you guys can drive around this whole loop and come back into the city. Now one important thing that you guys must take note is you guys do need a semi-automatic bike as they won't let you pass the gates without one. Um, this is due to brake failures that people have had in the past. So here guys, you'll find several different things. Beautiful coastlines, secluded viewpoints, secluded beaches, and a lot of monkeys. And the monkeys were actually quite friendly here, so it was really fun to play with them and just interact with the monkeys. But be sure you guys check this out. Next guys, coming in at number three is Ninh Binh, a beautiful, beautiful small city located in Northern Vietnam. So Ninh Binh is characterized by its rolling hills, and I was in absolute awe when I first came here, guys. Like. The viewpoints are absolutely amazing. So once you're in Ninh Binh, be sure to check out Hang Mua Cave. So be sure to start your journey early as it can get quite busy as the day goes on. Here guys, you'll start your journey at the bottom of some stairs. You'll hike up some stairs for about 15, 20 minutes and you'll be treated and rewarded with this stunning view of these rolling hills and the Trang An River. Now once you're at the top, there are three different viewpoints you guys to check out and a cave for you guys to explore as well. And don't forget the iconic dragon statue that everyone comes up here to take pictures with. Once you're done here, you're gonna wanna head over to the Trang An River Tour. And this is certified by UNESCO, guys. This river is probably the cleanest river in Vietnam and it was stunning. Beautiful blue water. And you'll start off your journey by hopping into a paddle boat with a tour guide. You'll be guided through several different water caves and along the Trang An River. You'll also make a stop at this temple that is absolutely beautiful. And the movie King Kong was actually filmed here as well. So kick back, relax, and take in the views of the Trang An River. So moving on to number two is a place I hold very dear to my heart and it's called Da Lat. This is one of the only places that reminds me of home, Canada, because of its cool temperatures. It's typically really cool during the morning and cool during the night and it warms up during the day. So the lot kind of gives off this camping in the woods, surrounded by pine trees, in a cabin kind of vibe. So the lot is littered with waterfalls and you can literally spend the whole day going to different waterfalls. Now I can't go into detail about all of them because this video would be way too long. So here is a list of my favorite waterfalls here in the lot. Now to end off your waterfall adventure, be sure to stop by Cafe Chio Vio. I go here every time I'm in the lot and it is a hidden gem. They have great drinks and they also have a platform where you can watch the sunset. No, it does get really busy here during sunset hours. So be sure to go maybe like 30 minutes before the sunset and try to snag a spot before it fills up with people. Now, if you're not too tired, end off your night at the Maze Bar. And this Maze Bar is like no other guys, I promise. The owner said it took about 10 years to completely build. So it's all in the name, guys, is this super intricate maze that is within inside of a bar. It takes you to different spots where you can hang out and to different bars where you can order drinks. Now, I got very, very lost inside this bar and it's super creepy inside this bar as well. So be sure to use a buddy system. For the next couple days, guys, if you're looking for something to get your adrenaline going, be sure to book a canyoneering tour with Dalat Adventure Tours. You'll spend the day abseiling down different waterfalls, going cliff jumping, and you even get a lunch on this tour. So it's something that you should not miss, and I had loads of fun doing it. Now, if this is too intense for you guys, be sure to check out the ropes course here in Dalat. It is absolutely amazing, and it was really fun to challenge yourself to see if you can get through all the different courses. And the zip lines, they were absolutely amazing. You got to take in these wonderful views, and it really got the adrenaline going. But this one's a little bit easier than the canyoneering tour. So if it's too intense for you guys, be sure to check out the ropes course. And moving on to number one, guys, is my favorite place in Vietnam, and it is called Sapa. Now, this iconic place is located in the mountains of northern Vietnam, and it has so many different activities for you guys to do. So when I came here, I booked a two-day, one-night hike with Ethos, a company that gives back to the community. They provide programs to help empower women. So if you're looking for a great hike and you want to experience something that will push you outside your comfort zone, be sure to book a tour here. You get to live with the Hmong tribe see how they live and their everyday life. You also get to give back to the community while taking in all of these scenic views. And if you have any spare days left, be sure to rent a good motorbike. 
a good one because mine did not work. We had to write a different one. So be sure to write a good motorbike and head up to Highway QL4. This highway will take you to the highest point in Vietnam so you guys can imagine the views that we got from there. You also got to see tons of waterfalls from the side of the road and if you're driving on this road be sure to stop at Tac Tin Waterfall. This waterfall is super remote and we got the whole place to ourselves and it is a must visit. It was absolutely stunning. And finally guys, if you're looking for a great place to stay, book your accommodation with Sapa Seoul. Now it is located 20 minutes outside of the town. They do serve food there, which is great, but the view that you wake up to is like no other guys and it makes it so worth it and it's so peaceful in the mornings here. And that is it guys. If you stuck around till the end, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this entire video. And I hope when you go to Vietnam, your trip is amazing. And now guys, 82% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this ugly face right here be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and throw a thumbs up on the video guys it's, it really helps me out and I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me and until next time guys I'll see you guys in the next video peace out